Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. After 23 mask videos, 11 months of mask making in all different style, fabrics, elastic, threads, I'm gonna share with you how I batch sew I came brick disposable masks. We've all been wearing these masks for quite a while now, and we've gotten used to how they react, how they act on our face, and how we breathe in them and whatnot. I've come to really like the lightweight disposable masks. Also like how I breathe through them. I can actually get a good breath. Now, why is it that I can breathe better in this as opposed to my cotton masks that we've been making right along for about 10, 11 months now. It's all in the fibers of the fabric or material. Cambric material is actually a spun, non-woven material. And that's exactly what they make the throwaway disposable masks out of. And guess what? We have access to that. I will put the link down below. One of the problems that I have with these disposable masks, yes, they're easy, you can toss them and all that, but they still fog my glasses up. I have to wear my glasses all the time. I'm going back to square one with you on the nose piece. It is my quarter inch foam. If you've been with me for a while here on YouTube, you know that this foam is an absolute game changer when it comes to fogging up your glasses. Or should I say, when it comes to not fogging up your glasses. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there. We are going to attach it to this. This is one of those flat coffee ties with the wire in it. What makes this really nice is that it's flat. It's not round like a wire. I bought these in bulk and they're not used on coffee yet. So I will link those as well. But what makes these really nice is they have a sticky on the back that you can stick this to and sew it into the cambric disposable mask. Now, why do I say disposable? You can actually hand wash cambric. And you can reuse these over and over and over again until you see that it actually does have some wear and whatnot. I want you to notice that I am fully talking and there is no fog at all on my glasses. You saw me put this mask on. Very easy to put on and pinch that foam right underneath the wire and no fog on the lenses. Now, let me put on the blue disposable mask. Now I am really pinching that so it gets close. Do you see that? It's crazy. It fogs up immediately. And as I talk and converse with somebody, my glasses are fogged up and especially if you're outside somewhere where it's cold and they just fog up and it's terrible. That is a huge difference, right? I mean, that is a game changer. And I said it from the very beginning, the foam is the game changer. The foam has always been a game changer when it comes to people who wear glasses. Enough talking already. Let's get busy making these ultra lightweight, breathable, no fog, disposable, reusable cambric masks. We are going to make three masks out of this piece of cambric, a 12 by 24 piece of cambric. There is a right and wrong side to cambric. You can see it's got like little diamond shapes in it and then the back as well. You will see that one side is a little bit more shiny, so to speak, and then the back side is, it has more of a flat sheen to it. And if you notice here on the disposables, if you look real close, you can see, you can see the little dimpling of the diamond shapes that's in it. And we are going to put right sides together. And once you have right sides together, you're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance right along the edge there. You will end up with something that looks just like this. 
a folded inside out piece of cambric. See, with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn that right side out. And here's one that has been turned right side out. Anytime a hot iron hits cambric, it will melt because it is a spun non-woven fabric or material. You must always put a cotton cloth over it when you iron it. So let me show you how that goes. You see here, I've used a quarter inch seam allowance. You're also going to use a very, very sharp needle. A universal needle will work. Do not try to put a stretch or a jersey needle in this because it will want to suck your cambric down into your sewing machine. So just a very sharp needle. So the first thing you're going to press is this area that you just sewed. You wanna make sure that everything is kind of pushed toward the edge there. You wanna make sure that it is on medium. That is pushed to the side. That's where you did the seam and this is the creased area. So you're just gonna wanna, I do use steam with mine. You're gonna wanna get that just a very light pressing. Don't, don't leave it on there, don't overdo it because like I said, you can burn it. It will melt, it's meltable. <laughs> Edge has been pressed. Not a real sharp crease, but just enough. I've made this really easy to put the creases in here. You are going to utilize some of these thick weights. I got these at the Home Depot and this is gonna help us for the moment. As we try to put our pleats in our masks. This is the side, the seam side is going to be where your nose piece goes in, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. I want to at least put the creases in first. The first thing you're going to do is take that seam part and fold this right in half. Cambric does slide a little bit. I'm going to lay these down so that everything matches up nice. And I'm just concentrating on this seam right here because this is going to be the middle of our pleat. You're going to put your pressing cloth back down, feel where that is, and you're just going to lightly go over that. And this is the only way to get the pleats in, so you have to be careful. Now you see how that middle pleat is right there? Now the next thing you're gonna do is make the two end pleats. Now how you're gonna do that is you're gonna take this seam and you're going to see where that middle seam is, you're going to just overlap it. So you're gonna go over it about a quarter of an inch right there. And you're gonna lay down your weight, get everything lined up, make sure that that is the amount of way that you want. Like I said, it will slip, so you wanna be careful. And then we're going to press this crease. You don't wanna to go too far in because you don't want to flatten out the middle crease that you made already. And you're just gonna lift those off. See that? So that's the top and the middle crease. Now flip it so that this bigger side is towards you. You're gonna do the same thing. Now the reason why I have you flip it is because I don't want you to iron over these that you just did. So you're gonna do the same thing. Find that creased edge that you initially made at the very beginning. You're gonna fold it over just about a quarter inch over top of that middle crease. Lay your weight down. Lay your pressing cloth down. Bring it down this way. You have your three creases. Now the next step, where the nose piece is the top of our mask, that's where that seam where we put the two pieces together. So that's the top. So you're gonna wanna grab this bottom one here at a quarter of an inch, right in the center, not on the ends, just like that. You're gonna pinch a quarter of an inch and lay that down. You're going to do the same over here on this side, pinch and lay it down.
pull that down just a bit. You're going to grab the middle one now. Might be a little hard, but you can do it. Right here, grab the middle. Make sure you grab both of them. Pinch a quarter of an inch, and then lay that on two pleats. Pinch a quarter of an inch and lay that there. Pinch, quarter of an inch, and lay, pinch, and then you're going to get the big guy, okay? <laughs> you're going to put the big guy right here, and you can put that little guy right there. So there, we've made all of our pleats. With those two right there, we're going to lift that up because that's nice and right in the center and it's fine. It's not going to come up because we have those on there. Lay this down. And give that a press. Now, what's different is you're going to lay that back down on there because we want that to crease nice and easily. Go here on the next side. We want that weight to help keep that crease because when you do hand wash it, it will actually keep the crease that you are making right now. It's, it's really nice. Lift that up and then get this big spot right here. Push that down. Now what we're going to do is turn this over like this. Lay these back down so that it helps right there. And then you can just start over here because this one seems like it's down good. You're going to press the back. Very important to do this step. You want your cambric to stay pleated. So we do the front and we do the back. Now the next thing we're going to do, you're going to take one of your rulers that covers all that and you're just going to lay it over that. And you can even put your weights back down. And you can see here the steam coming up through the ruler right there. That's good because we want it to press nicely together so that heat that's in there, it's actually going to make nice creases for us. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that for a couple minutes and we'll come back to this. Let's go ahead and take our weights all off. And our ruler, all the condensation's gone in there. And you see here we have like a long stream of really nicely pleated masks. Go ahead and turn it around so that the pleats are, the top is right here where the seam was. Now the front pleats always come down, almost like a shingled effect. You don't want that on the inside. See, on the inside the shingles go up and on the outside the shingles go down. Now the next thing we're going to do is cut our masks. Now we're going to make the nose piece. You can get the quarter inch foam. Check the description box down below this video. I do have them for sale in my eBay store. I've had nothing but 100% positive feedback with this foam. You can wash it and dry it if you wanted to, the foam anyways. It's made out of polyester, so no worries there. 
these come about seven, seven and a half inches or so, and here's the sticky on the back. And what I do here is I just cut them in half. And then when you go to cut the foam, they do come in this size, so you will have to cut them down a little bit. You just want it to be just a little bit longer on the ends in case, you know, that gets pokey or anything. And so you wanna cut that as well, like that. And then and then there's your quarter inch give on the foam. Go ahead and take off the sticky and then we're gonna go ahead and lay this like that. It sticks nice. Now this one side does not stick very well and if you have a little bit of you know glue or whatnot you can use that. It's perfectly fine. This is just a little fabric glue right here and I am going to tack that right there because I do want that to stay. And it's just a tiny bit, see? Just a tiny bit. It's not gonna hurt you. It's fabric glue, no worries. Just like that. Our next step is to take this, you want the foam side towards your nose. Remember I said the shingles go in the front? So you're going to slide this in like this. You're gonna find the middle. A little bit more this way. And you're gonna to wanna to push that foam all the way up to where that seam is. That looks about good in the middle. Then what you're gonna do with a sharp needle on your sewing machine and a straight stitch, you're gonna go just off to the side of where that wire is, come down, go this, and up. So you're going to go one, two, three, and closing those two materials together, making like a pocket for this. So that hard part of the wires out here, not next to your nose, and then you have that squishy part there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our elastic, our ear elastic. Cut off four tiny pieces of the double-sided tape, quilter's tape. This is going to help us keep the elastic for the ears right in place. So what you're going to do is just lay on one side, press it in, and when you go to take it off, you see there, it's on there, it's sticky, it'll help us. Well, let's get the other side on first and then I'll show you. So you're gonna stick it right about there, just about a quarter inch from the very top. And then you're gonna take that bottom piece and about a quarter inch from the very bottom right there. Now what I would do is go ahead and do the other two masks that we did in this uh, batch right here. I would go ahead and put the sticky on the elastics and whatnot and have them all ready. And then what you're going to do is take this all like this, nice, nice. And you can put clips in them if you want. But it's totally up to you. I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. I'm going to hold mine like that as I go through the sewing machine. You do it however you like. I'm gonna zigzag right there where the elastic is. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times and then I'm gonna come down with a zigzag down to this one and I'm gonna zigzag that a couple times and then I'm gonna go do the other side as well. All right, here we go. Here's our mask. Now we just have to trim off all this excess. All these little threads and such. And you see how that looks jagged right there? Let me show you what I'm gonna do here. 
Now make sure that this is out of the way when you go to do this step. You're just going to take your scissors and just cut those straight. And if that one's sticking out a little bit, you can go like that. So there's my zigzags. There's that nose piece that's going to keep your glasses oh so nice. All the links will be down in the description box so that you are able to purchase all the items that I used in today's video. It's really easy. You're going to love these masks. The only other thing before I let you go, when you go to sew this step right here, if you wanted to have a filter pocket in this, all you have to do is turn the mask over and make this the top, okay, where your nose cushion goes in come in a little bit here and come in a little bit here and you can make yourself a little pocket to add some of the polypropylene the really strong filter material that i sell in my ebay store and you can make just a little corner of it like this and shove it right up in there it'll just give you one more layer so there you have it until next time on the sewing channel Take care.